Then, there are the sounds of moons. In 2021, a space probe was doing a mission around Jupiter and made a flyby by Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter, and recorded some audio of the moon. Pitched down to a level where humans can hear it, it sounds like this. It's chilling. It sounds almost like a distorted recording, but it isn't. That's just the sound that Ganymede makes. However, the sounds of space go beyond the solar system and even beyond solid astronomical objects. A NASA space telescope named Chandra studied the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. It detected ripples through space, not much different from ripples in water. Scientists determined that these ripples were produced by a supermassive black hole. Whenever a black hole eats something, it spits some of that thing out. The thing being spit out pushes around nearby gases. Translating these gas ripples into sounds shows us what a black hole eating something sounds like. And it sounds like this. The original frequency of this black hole audio was low. Very low. To understand how low, let me put it into perspective. The recording of the black hole sound needed to be pitched up by 288 quadrillion times in order to be heard by humans. The sounds of space are both interesting to hear and interesting to gather, and to me, can be just as scary as the visual universe. I think that, despite the scariness of space, astrophobia is a bit of an irrational fear. There really isn't much of a threat present here on Earth, and even the cosmic events that can affect Earth are usually never brought up in discussions of astrophobia. Which is why I think media that explores astrophobia is important, because it actually gives you a reason to be scared of the universe, as you're actually partaking in it. The world of video games in particular can really trigger astrophobia, but even those don't scare me as much as VR space games. Games like No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous are PC games at heart, but both have a VR port. I won't talk much about No Man's Sky because it's more of a caricature of space trying to be a fun game rather than a real simulation of what it would be like to explore the cosmos. Elite Dangerous, however, is the exact opposite of this. Especially in VR, it really provokes a real, accurate simulation of what exploring space would be like. And it is as awe-inspiring as it is terrifying. 